How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2 and welcome back to Whitworth. Things are going pretty well at the moment. I, I find it difficult to complain when I'm sitting at $130 million in July of 1929. But I'm going to complain anyway, because I want to find a way to spend a ridiculous amount of money because I don't like sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars in this game, at least not yet. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get rid of some of that money. But before we do that, what I really want to do is figure out this machines situation because Whitworth wants machines and we're only delivering just shy of a quarter of those. Uh, Bingham wants machines. We're not delivering even a tenth of those. Uh, Norton, same story. We're not really delivering a tenth there. Middlewich, same story. Whitehaven, same story. And Midhurst, the exact same story. We're delivering maybe a fifth, maybe a sixth of them there. But regardless, I want to figure out the machines thing because we are producing a good amount of them. Every line here sort of has a few from time to time and production here is decent but then you go and look at it a little bit and you realize that steel is what's holding us back and now i've gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth on this particular factory quite a few times i've gone back and forth on just how many planks we need to be making and we are making a lot of them we're definitely making a lot of planks but we don't need more of those right now what we need is more steel and then if we go look here, we can see that there's a massive amount of coal in storage and you might think, well, you know, maybe you've got too many trucks that are moving coal. And we go and look at that. We look at the coal line. The rate is 333. We look at iron. The rate is 340. So the numbers say that there should be more iron in here than there is coal. We're just not necessarily doing enough is, is what I'm getting at. The steel production, it just needs to be higher. But the problem is, as we've seen before, if I go and throw a bunch more vehicles into this mix, what's going to happen is that we are going to see just a massive tailback. We already have massive tailbacks. A lot of this traffic is waiting because of the different intersections, because they're all staying in the same lane. It's the city's skylines effect of traffic. You know, this right lane could be a turn lane, but it isn't. It just isn't. It's it's both. You can go straight on. You can go to the right. So I could go and turn off the traffic lights. That is an option. It would speed things up a little bit. But what I think I'd rather do is just change the sources for the coal and the iron because we're getting iron from up here. We're getting coal from down here and they are admittedly quite close to this particular factory. But they're causing issues. There's just too many vehicles in that space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift production of steel away from Whitworth and I'm going to move it up here to Winslow because next to this steel mill in Winslow is an iron mine and it's number three. So arguably there's a good few of them around here. There's also coal just up here by South Woodham. Fer Fer what, what is that called? South Woodham Ferrer. You know what? We're just going to go and say it's Winslow regardless. It's probably not bad. It's probably not a bad idea to use this coal mine, use this iron mine, and just go ahead and make the steel up here. It's also going to pro uh, produce slag, which can still go back and over to uh, new mills. So we're still producing the same things. We're just doing it further away. We're taking all of the iron traffic and all of the coal traffic out of Whitworth. We're going to improve the flow of traffic in Whitworth. We're going to improve the emissions in Whitworth, and we're still going to be making machines. Now, I could use trains to do this, but I think to be completely honest, I'm just going to use some trucks and I'm just going to use a bunch of them to move things back and forth. And we'll sort of see how that plays out. But I think for the time being, I want to just get as many. I, I want this to be as 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 reasonable as as it can be. I want it to just sort of work. So we're going to use some of these medium country roads. I'm going to just upgrade sort of all of this so that the vehicles can move as as quickly as possible really i think what i'm also going to do is just bring a road sort of through this forest and i'm going to take it sort of straight over to there so that we have that direct connection so things are you know on both sides 
Uh, this right here could be smoothed out just a little bit, I reckon, so that we can just have traffic get around a little bit nicer. So there we go. And that's all well and good. But what I really want to do is kind of similar to what we did. Where did we do this thing? Was it down here? Yeah, I want to separate things out a little bit. I want to have a dedicated station for coal. I want a dedicated station for iron. And then I want a pickup spot for the steel. Now, the fortunate thing about the steel is that, I mean, it's it's kind of going to be going this way, right? We're going to have to do a tunnel through here. And we're going to have to connect the tunnel probably up here, uh, going sort of through this mountain here. So if I go and get myself, let's say, a nice sort of medium country road, and we want to just do that with it, that's a lot of money. But it's probably worth it. And honestly, we do have a lot of money anyway, so I'm not really going to worry too much about the cash. So we'll have that go straight through and we'll sort of have this guy come down. That is not what I want it to do at all. Good Lord. I want it to just go like this. So that's now a straight connection through that hill over to the steel mill, which is absolutely perfect. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this road. I'm going to upgrade this road as well. And honestly, I should probably just upgrade a lot of these roads. So we'll do that so traffic can be a little bit faster along there. And that'll help us out with some of the traffic going back and forth. But what we really need to be doing is just going ahead and getting ourselves some buildings. So we need a truck station. This is going to be the pickup for the steel. And I guess it's also the pickup for the slag, I suppose. So we can have both of those be in a single station. I'm not really too worried about how much traffic there's going to be as a result of all of that. But I am going to try and get this thing just as far away from the actual factory as I can, which looks to be about there. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do is just expand this back a decent little bit. We're going to go for some pretty big stations here so that a bunch of the trucks can get in here. They can filter through and everything should be OK. Everything should kind of work out. And I think what I'll also do is put another platform in here. So we'll say that platform maybe one is steel and then three is sort of the fallback and then two is slag and three can also be the fallback there and we can also do these buildings if we want to which honestly i like doing these buildings so we'll get a good few of these in here as well just sort of dot them along the sides because it just looks kind of interesting i just i like it a lot we'll keep that bit open i suppose looks a little bit weird but i'm kind of here for it and can i put a building up here i absolutely can but it doesn't do anything on that side so we'll just leave it me and that'll be fine so that's Winslow North. That's going to be our pickup for this steel mill. And then when it comes to the iron, what we can fortunately do here is swing this guy around. I need to deselect Winslow North. And this guy can actually just sort of go up here, which is good. Now, if this thing expands, it might cause some issues. But at the very least, what I can actually do is put it on this side. And by doing this... In fact, it might be better to sort of do this slightly differently. I wonder if I put this, if I put the platform like here, the traffic would have to come in. It would cut across. Hmm. It might be a little bit weird. I think what we'll do is put it on this side. So we're just going to go with a single platform. I want that little connection there for people to walk across. So we'll do that. And I just want to modify this guy. So something a little bit like this. This doesn't need to be a huge station, but I do want the extra platform. I should have probably done two of them and that'll be fine. And we'll do street access on this side as well. In fact, what we're going to do is say station entrance there, station exit there. And it's going to be a little one way system. So the way it'll work is we go and get this highway ramp, 37 mile per hour speed limit. And we're just going to say... Well, maybe we'll go for the medium. I oh, know we'll just go with a highway ramp, I think. So we'll just do that. And then I need to flip it around so you can get in that way. And then to get out of this place, we'll just do. Honestly, I'm just going to do a straight shot down like that. I'm not really too worried about it being super, you know, curvy and whatnot. That right there should be fine. So you get in, you kind of come along, you go in, you drop it off, you leave, you go back down to here. And that should be fine. In fact, arguably. These guys don't even need a, they don't need a, a full station, do they? We could just use the drop-off point, but that might cause some issues. I, I don't know. I feel like a full station is probably better just in case. So we'll give that a shot. And then what I need to do is pretty much that same thing for the coal. Now, looking at it, 
It actually looks like I could get away with a little station just about there, which I'm kind of here for. I'm going to be honest. I think a little station right about there. I mean, it's it's going to be a little bit. It's, it's not going to be the cleanest looking thing. Unfortunately, they're all going to be at different angles and whatnot, but I'm kind of willing to work with that. If I put it sort of down here, it might be a little better. I'm not really too sure. I'm not really too worried about the aesthetics of it, to be completely honest. It would be nice if it was closer, but I'm wondering if I put it there and extend it. I, yeah, you know what? The aesthetics of this thing really don't matter. Let's just do it this way. So they, they come along, they're sort of going to come down and into here and then back out. So we'll just put it right about there. We'll go ahead, we'll configure it, and we'll get rid of the entrance as per usual. So that's going to be an entrance like so. We'll get some extra platforms here. I don't know how many platforms I did in the other one, so we'll just do exactly that many. We'll extend it down here as well. And then with it connected, if we click on it, it is connected to the factory. So that's absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do is go ahead and kind of do the same thing down here. I'm not going to go as crazy with the platforms, though. We'll just say three platforms on the right. We're just going to say, you know, have this guy... Uh, connected it can be a lot closer I, I could get it to be closer but I'm gonna go for right about there and for the coal it's gonna be on this road that I built so we'll go ahead and put it I want to say as far away as I, actually you know what right in that little corner kind of right about right about there seems pretty good so what we can do is set up a new line it's gonna run from here and it's gonna run to here we can go ahead and say it's Winslow so road cargo uh, Winslow and I'm going to copy that so I can paste it easily into the other ones. And this is going to be coal to steel is what we're going to say. And we're going to keep these lines just, well, let's go for, oh, I don't know. Let's go for that, uh, that sort of pink right down there in the corner. So that's the coal. And then new line from here going to about there. Road cargo Winslow. This is iron to steel. And so now we have all of the lines set up. We've got the coal, we've got the iron, we've got the slag going to bricks and the steel going to machines. We just need to get some vehicles on this. And to be completely honest, we're probably going to want to do something with Winslow anyway, since we're already here. Now, Winslow wants fuel. And thankfully, we have a pretty good fuel production going on up here. So I'm going to go ahead and configure this uh, little depot here, or depot, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give it a few more platforms just to space things out a little bit and give us a little bit more room to work with and what we'll do is go ahead and see where exactly they want fuel in winslow so it's right in the middle of town so we'll go ahead and put a stop right there and i'm also going to go ahead and connect these roads together so give me a little medium country road upgrade this guy upgrade that guy and just bring it straight through there and that'll be a good little connection for Winslow. So we can get right in there with the fuel. It's going to be coming down from New Mills. We could probably get it to go a little bit quicker, but I'm not super worried about it right now. So from here, it is going to go down to here. I'm going to say road cargo Winslow fuel delivery. So that's that one sorted out. And that's going to help Winslow grow just a little bit as well, which is going to be good. And then food, I mean, honestly, what we'll probably do with food is look into producing it locally, perhaps. That might not be a terrible idea. Also worth pointing out is that we do have a lot of farms around here. We do have some plastic production. So if we could get our hands on some planks up here, which can we do that? We have a couple of forests. Do we have a sawmill anywhere nearby? doesn't necessarily look like it which is a little bit frustrating uh what about silver bars i think we do have a silver mine down here but we would need to melt that down somewhere so it doesn't look like that's gonna be an option either and uh paper i mean that's made from well you know what we'll figure it out it's it's not a big deal we will figure it out we're making enough planks uh down by uh, Whitworth that we could probably ship them up there if we wanted to make goods, which maybe we don't need goods in this space. I mean, Brentford wants them, but regardless, I'm getting slightly sidetracked. Uh, let's get some vehicles. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a road depot. And we'll go ahead and put it down here with the rest of the industry. So I'm going to just put it sort of, I want to say right about here. 
should be good. So right about, I want to say, yeah, right about there seems pretty good. And I'm thinking we can also probably do a little public transport loop around here. I think that might be a good idea just to try and improve things in Winslow a little bit further. And it means we could also connect this down to everywhere else if we really wanted to, which I'm not against doing. So we'll see if we end up doing that. But for now, bus and tram stop there, there. We'll go down here. We'll go up here. We'll go here. We'll go across. We'll go up a little bit further and down to about there. And let's go ahead and create Winslow loop number one. And just like that, we have the vehicles heading out. It's going to take a little while. There's a lot of vehicles that I just bought, but we already have people wanting to use the public transport here. We already have some iron production. We already have some steel production. These guys are going to crank things up pretty quickly, which means that we should see. Did I say steel, iron and coal production? We should have steel production soon enough, though, which is going to be absolutely beautiful. And then Winslow, in theory, will start growing eventually. And I think what I'm going to do with Winslow is I'm going to go ahead and run a little bus line from Whitworth to Winslow. That seems like it'd be a pretty good idea. So let's go to new line. Let's say we want to go from, I mean, we could go from there. We could, we could go to here. Maybe what we do is we have two stops for this. So let's say the bus goes there. Let's say the bus goes over here. So it sort of loops around in that weird ish way. And then it comes over to Winslow and it's going to go to, I'm going to say here and I'm going to say up there. So it kind of loops around in a bit of a weird way and that'll be fine. So road passengers, uh, we'll say it's a Winslow. We'll just say Winslow to, or Winslow slash, was that Whitworth? I want to say it was Whitworth. I might be wrong on that. Was it Whitworth? Is that what it is? It is Whitworth. Okay. So that'll be just fine. We'll make this line, I guess, that color because we can. It's a bit of a weird one and it'll do the job. And let's go ahead and buy some vehicles. So passengers are going to be on this thing. We'll go for like, I'm going to say 10 of them probably is, is what we're going to go for there. And we'll put that on the road passengers, Winslow to Whitworth. There we go. So now Winslow has some connections. It's probably going to grow a little bit, which is good. That's exactly what we're looking for. It is also going to have all of this production going on. We're going to have all this steel moving out. So in theory, machines production is going to shoot up a little bit, which is exactly what I want. Now, I don't know. I don't know if I'm prepared to get rid of this guy completely. The goal of doing this is kind of to get rid of a lot of this traffic. I've got to be honest. That's that's my long term goal here. Uh, so we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, what I do need to do, though, is make sure you can go to those different platforms. Uh, you can go to those platforms as well. And then same thing up here on this guy. I need you going to all of these different platforms and you go into those different platforms as well. So now they can spread out. The rate on the coal is 104. The rate on the iron is 148. Honestly, manage those vehicles, duplicate, and give me, what is that going to be? 208, that's fine. Manage these guys. Give me like five more of them. And that gives us 223. Manage you, give me like one more. And that gives me 219. So that's good enough. That'll, that'll be totally fine. Uh, so 219. Let's say 220. That means production on this should end up being about 110, which means that the steel to machines needs a rate of about 110. So manage those vehicles. Duplicate. That gives me 33. Duplicate again. That gives me... Should be about 66. And let me just grab these five and keep duplicating until we get to about 110. 99. Give me three more. And that gives me 109. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. So that should all be set up now. Uh, we have got some steel. We have got some slags. So those things are being made. We've got all these vehicles coming out. We've got Winslow already aiming for 433 people. Those destinations are doing really well for it. So that is exactly what we're looking for. So in theory, in theory, I think I could. I mean, this guy's going to have to level up a little bit. Production is only 400. But 
in theory, I think I could get away with getting rid of this steel production. So I'm going to take a chance. What I'm going to do specifically is... Oh boy. What I'm going to do specifically is I'm going to pause... No, well, I'm going to pause for it. I'm going to pin this. And so this is slag to bricks to delivery. That's something to remember about that line. So what that means is I need to come up here to New Mills. I need to go here and I need to say this Winslow line also needs to be delivering bricks to New Mills. So manage that line after New Mills North. I need you to go there. So that way you're also delivering the bricks to the town because it does need them. And once the auto save's done, hopefully it's going to update and not be weird. There we go. So what we're doing is in Winslow, you are going to be loading up on that's oil sand. So load up on slag. In New Mills North, you are unloading the slag and loading up on construction materials and then unload at the avenue. So that's fine. That's now sorted. So now what I can do is manage these vehicles. It's a rate of 326 right now. So we're going to need to increase the rate on the other one. But I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to sell them is what I'm going to do. So there's now nothing on that line. Cold steel, 325. That's fair enough. Steel to machines is 423. So we, we need to bring that up. But anyway, uh, coal here, whatever. Select 105 vehicles. Sell them. Iron to steel. Go and select 86 vehicles. Sell them. Steel to machines. Go and select 54 vehicles and sell them. So what I've got is four empty lines, which is totally fine. That's what I'm looking for. I want the lines to be empty and way less vehicles down here, which is exactly what we're looking for. So now let's go and put a bunch more vehicles in Winslow because these guys can produce up to 600. So really what we can do is go to this line and say, manage vehicles, duplicate. And that's gonna be near enough a rate of 600, 595 with 30 vehicles. That's nothing compared to what we had before. And then for coal to steel, it's already 318, so manage vehicles. Go ahead and duplicate that. That's going to give me 42 in total, which is nothing. And then what we'll do, just sell two of them. And that's probably going to bring us down to 605. In fact, yeah, that's fine. So both of them are moving as much as the mines can produce, which is perfect. Which means that we can now go to this steel line, manage those vehicles, duplicate, and yes... Yes, it's 66 vehicles. It is a lot, but they're kind of being spread out over a larger area, which is kind of what I'm looking for. They're also admittedly going right through the middle of, uh, <laughs> going right through the middle of Whitworth, which I don't love. I've got to be honest on that one. In fact, I don't really know if they, wait, where are they going? Oh no, they're not, they're going around. They're using my ring road. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted, okay. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. I am totally, totally fine with that. This is going to be really interesting. We've also probably got about 300 slag that we can move at the rate of 14 right now. I think we can go and duplicate a bunch of these guys. Get me like, I don't know, 20 of those. In fact, give me like 40 of those and we'll probably be all right. We'll get like a rate of 100 on this thing. It's going to need to be four, four and eight, 12, 120 vehicles probably to match the rate of that factory. I don't think I'm gonna go for that, but we'll see what happens. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. I'm really keen to see how this plays out. I'm also really keen to see if Winslow, I mean, it's aiming for, yeah, 466. They don't have any fuel right now. How is the fuel thing going? So Winslow fuel delivery, they do have some, which is good. Do we have much up here? Not really. Can I move you guys onto different terminals as well? So put Winslow on like Terminal 7. Move you down to like Terminal 6. Move you down to like Terminal 5. Just sort of move them all down a little bit. So they all have to come in and kind of get around a little bit there. So that's all right. This one is a little busy. Winslow fuel delivery is whatever. Production here kind of sucks. So production here, yeah. Production here does kind of suck. Why does production suck? I guess it's because we don't have that many vehicles moving the uh, the oil sand. What's the production on you? 600? 
And what's the rate on you? 134 with 16 vehicles? Okay, go ahead and duplicate the number of vehicles. And that gives us 32. That gives us 267. You know what? Just duplicate it again. Give me 64 vehicles. That's going to bring us up to near enough a rate of 600. It's going to be two or sorry, 534. That's fine. It's a lot of vehicles in a relatively small space, though. So what I think I'm going to do is I guess a truck unload stop or I guess just another truck station would be an option as well. So if I just go and put like a station, if I put a station here, that'll be perfectly fine. So let's let's do that. Let's put a station here. Let me configure this guy. Let me get rid of the entrance. Let me say street access entrance. Oh, and it's going to do that, isn't it? Okay, pause for a second. Get rid of these guys. Give me a station entrance right there. And let me see if I can do this in a way that's not going to look terrible. So we do want some medium country roads, which are going to be these guys here. And I can sort of bring that straight across. I don't know how nicely that's going to play, but we'll find out. Can I connect to you? I absolutely can. So we'll do that. It is backwards, so I need to flip it. And that's now sorted. This guy, medium country road the entire way through there as well. And this guy's going to come back and we will curve it sort of out and around like so. And we'll go ahead and upgrade all of that road as well. So it's all that little bit faster, which is exactly what we're looking for. So now we just need to move the oil sand to this guy. But what I think I'll do with that many vehicles is I'm going to throw another few platforms on here. It is going to be kind of busy. It is going to, it's going to need, the tra traffic's probably going to tail back, but we'll figure it out. I think if the platforms are numerous and long enough, we'll be okay. So we'll sort of extend them to about there. And it's just a bunch of drop-off spots. That's all this is going to be. So really, it doesn't need to be too crazy. And then what we can do, grab this highway ramp. We'll go ahead and say, you know, just give me something that curves out to like here and something that kind of curves down to about there should be totally fine so that's going to give us a way in that's going to give us a way out and what we want to do is oil sand to fuel and sand manage that line it goes instead to here it does not go to new mills east and now these guys don't overlap at all which is perfect so what we can do is have you guys drop off on all of those platforms and that should be pretty good for us. That should uh, that should speed things up a little bit. In fact, we're up to 684 on the right right now. So manage those vehicles and get rid of, we'll say four of them to start with. Let's go ahead and get rid of another four of them right about there. And that gives us 599, which is perfect. So all of those vehicles have to come up from new mills. That is going to take a while. But in theory, we should see the production here go through the roof which is exactly what we want so that's good that's a very good thing we should see all of these lines have knock-on effects so they should all start having more fuel it's it's good for everybody that's what it is it is good for everybody except for traffic here which is apparently a bit of a nightmare interesting i'll tell you what let's go and upgrade this to a large country road and we'll get some sort of turning lanes in here that seems like uh that seems like a fair thing to do. In fact, maybe just all of that can be sort of large country roads there. And we'll see how that plays out. That might be that might be a little bit better for us. It looks like traffic's getting around a bit better. Although it also looks like most of the traffic does want to turn. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, something I've just realized is that I think the production being 400 on this might mean that we're producing 200 slag and 200 steel which if that's the case that's kind of a problem i might have been misreading this also it is about to upgrade which is great news but looking at this we're shipping 400 coal and 400 iron which is great but the consumers it's 200 and 200 so that says to me that it is actually a split. Production of 400 is 200 of each thing that you can make. So with this being a lower level than, say, the one down here, over here, at least this was a higher level one, that might be a bit of an issue. Which means that we're not going to have as many machines because we can only move 200. But if this thing levels up, which it looks like it's going to do, 
we should be fine. Also, interestingly, Winslow happens to want not just fuel now, but also goods and machines. So that's pretty cool. That's that's actually something we can look into. And goods, I mean, we saw it earlier. I'm kind of interested in making them up here. We just really need planks. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it would be worth maybe going ahead and maybe getting some planks in here. Now, interestingly, there are fewer planks here than there used to be. And I have to wonder if that's maybe because there's less traffic around. So these uh, these vehicles can get back and forth a little bit better. It does mean that there's now 3,700 planks just sitting in the machines factory, but that's probably okay. That's that's probably all right for now. I do wonder, though. I do absolutely wonder if it would be worth sort of moving some planks up there to make some uh, some goods for Winslow. Just get some other production lines going, you know? Just get uh, a little something something going. Make the place grow. Make it another city that we maybe, you know, pay a bit of attention to. Get some trains up there one day. I think it would be good. I think it would be a good idea. I also think just expanding these platforms a little bit might do us a few favors so that more vehicles can kind of filter through here and maybe just have last turns to make or something like that. I don't really know. We'll just do this anyway. So get all of that in there and now the trucks can all filter through and do their thing. So looking at this guy, have you upgraded? You absolutely have. Production can now go up to 800, which is beautiful. So suppliers six and six. Now what that says to me, if I think about it, so 800 means we need 400 of each of these? No. Well, no. Yeah, hold on a minute. We would need, would we need 1600? Am I doing the math right here? Hold on a second. So consumers up to 241. That's good. So we would be producing productions 800. Uh, let's just see what the numbers do. Because we're currently supplying with 600. So we'd be producing, what, 300 of each? So this should go up to production 600. So what I need to be producing or providing 800 of each of the, I'm really not sure. I, I don't know why my brain isn't working the, the math out right now, but for whatever reason, my brain's just not, I'm, I'm struggling is what I'm doing. You know, honestly, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to hook up another couple of iron and coal mines to this factory and see what happens. We have some iron down here. We have some coal up here. So let's go and get ourselves a little road here. We're going to want something that kind of comes off right about there, and that should be totally fine. We're going to have this sort of come around the coast, something like that. That's going to cut away a lot of the terrain, though. Let's have it go this way and sort of straight over. We'll have it sort of come down this way, cutting away just a little bit of that terrain there. And it could probably just link up with this guy. I think that's totally fine. And then if I upgrade these roads, it can move at a decent little speed there. So it's going to come down like that. It's going to go to this same stop, which is totally fine. I'm okay with that. And for this guy, I really want to try and avoid going through Winslow. So I'm going to take this road right back here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this guy, even though I'm probably not going to use all of it. Bring this sort of straight out to there. And then what I can do, once this autosave done, as per usual, is I can sort of go off that way, which is what I want to do. So I want to sort of go off that way. And I also want to go something like that. So it sort of shoots off that way, and that'll be totally fine. We'll upgrade this guy because I can. And it's just going to go sort of around the town, is what I'm thinking. In fact, this is... It's not a great looking little thing there. I wish you could do roundabouts. Can you do roundabouts in this? Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure at some point you do get, like, roundabouts as an option. I don't know if they'll really work right. I also don't think I need to do a roundabout here, but I... Part of me wants to. I don't know why. <laughs> There's really no reason to do a roundabout here. It's kind of silly, but... I do, do, I do want to do it, sort of. Um, I'm just not going to, though. So let's just go straight off sort of the corner here in that direction. And what we'll do is kind of go over this way. We can smooth this out a little bit. I don't love that it's just this big... Yeah, I don't love that it's just this big sort of road that shoots over. I want it to go around the forest. 
I want Winslow to maybe care a little bit about its countryside. So this kind of comes over sort of this way and we'll sort of run it past the, the plastics factory because we do probably want to do something with the plastics factory. I would maybe come down here and sort of around that forest as well. So it sort of shoots through here. It is going to have to go through the forest here though. So straight through like this should be fine. And that'll do. I mean, it, it could it could shoot straight over as well. This is actually going to be a problem though, because it does mess with my plan of having everything separated. Technically, this guy needs to come over and connect to this road, which I could do. That might just be a little bit much. This this might be a little bit extra what I'm about to do, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to sort of bring it down here. I'm going to sort of bring it around this forest. And I'm going to connect it to... I'm going to connect it to this road as best I can. So we're going to sort of connect it like this at kind of a nice little angle. We'll run it sort of straight over with a nice straight section of road here. So it goes between all of these guys. There's no traffic. I don't, I don't think any traffic uses that road, which is good. And then we'll sort of bring it straight around here. And we'll have it connect up there. So it is... It's a very, very kind of roundabout way to do this. But it means that all of the traffic is going to stay separated. The only thing I'm going to have to do is use waypoints, I think. But I'm pretty sure I could get away with that. Actually, oh, this is going to behave slightly differently to how I wanted it to. But that's actually, that's that's totally fine. Uh, we're going to want a waypoint uh, here, basically. So what we're going to do is get ourselves a nice truck station. We're going to put it sort of... Can I put it on this road? I absolutely can. So we can actually have it at a decent little bit of a distance away from the mine itself. So the truck station is going to go there. And the other one is going to go about as far up here as I can get it. Which I think there is probably fine. So that'll do. And then what we'll do is we'll go and say new line from here. Use all of those platforms. Be that little color right about there. And this guy is going to come down. He's going to go to here using both of the platforms and that is going to be road cargo winslow and it's coal to steel two is what we'll call it and then same thing for the other guy so from here hopefully going to go straight across and up to here and i think it does let's get it in the right color so i can see it absolutely does what i wanted it to do the difference is that after the branch i need it to come down here so it is annoyingly going to be cutting across some traffic here, which is not ideal. It's it's going to be a lot of traffic as well, but that should be fine. So Road Cargo Winslow, it is iron to steel at uh, two. And now we just need vehicles. We need vehicles that can do a rate of 600. That's a lot. That's, that's going to be a lot. That is absolutely going to be a lot, but whatever. Let's go to cargo. Let's go and get... I'm going to say like 50. We'll say 50 right off the bat. Two something, two point something million is fine. The first one's iron, so it's going to be that color. And let's say road cargo. Winslow is here, so iron to steel number two. Let's go and get ourselves another 50 of these vehicles. It's probably not going to be enough. It's 4.2 million. Oh, okay. Well, that's news. Uh, we'll go and put that on the coal one. So Winslow coal to steel two. And we'll just see how that goes, is what we'll do. I'm curious to see if these guys are even going to produce, and they absolutely are. There's a lot already kind of getting thrown in there. Production on these guys is decent. And I mean, looking at this line, the rate is 297. So I was really close on this one. I'm going to need 100 trucks. It's going to be 100 trucks. That's kind of wild. What about you? That's not bad either. 50 was a pretty good number for both of those. And then that means that this guy, wow, this thing's gonna, this thing's gonna do really well for itself. Good Lord. Okay. It's not going to level up again. It's already max level, but that's, that is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and level things out a little bit here so that we don't end up with a massive sort of excess. What I think we'll do is manage these vehicles and I think we will... I don't want to duplicate it. I don't want to say 100 vehicles, but I'm going to do 100 vehicles. So that's going to give us, what, 514 
roughly as the rate. Yeah, 514 is fine. It's not 600, but it'll do. You're 297. Manage those vehicles, duplicate. So that's going to be up to just shy of 600, 594. Let me go and sell like 10 of you and see what that does. Can I get this down to like 514 or something like that? So 535, let me sell two more. And that gives us 523, give me two more gone. That gives me 511. If I get rid of two more, is that gonna give me like exactly 500? It's gonna give me 499, I'll take 499. So the iron there is 499. The coal here is 514. Let me sell two of you guys and see if I can get 499. 504. Ugh. Sell one more. 498. I'll take it. Okay. So that's fine. They're just about even, which is perfect. This one is... Oh, that's iron to steel number two. Uh, this one is 584. This one is 591. So it's not perfect. We're going to have a little bit of excess coal, I think. But honestly... I'm curious to see how this goes. Winslow is going to have pretty bad emissions, which isn't ideal. I don't love that, but they will deal with it. We should, as a result of all of this, end up with really good production here. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking, is that we should end up with really good production. We also have an excess of slag sitting around, but that's fine. Uh, let me see here. So you, suppliers. Suppliers are doing okay. They'll figure things out. Consumers... 300 300 we are shipping about as much as we can and that checks out so once we get more supply in here once we get a little bit more coal in here we should see production go up a little bit and we should see i guess if this gets up to 800 we should see the consumers getting about 400 each which would be ideal looking down this way this guy is still stocked up but we do have a good amount of machines sitting around which is perfect and also in other news, in other good news, at some point recently, we got some new planes. So let's go have a look and see what exactly we got. We got the uh, the Junkers JU-52, which is able to take all kinds of cargo, including passengers. So what I think we do, plain and simple, pun intended, is manage vehicles, swap it out for the Junkers, and we want to probably manage that line and say that, uh, I mean, it is a passenger line, so it shouldn't really need to be configured. Uh, let's go to the cargo one. We'll configure that guy as well. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I want to configure the line, so manage those vehicles, replace it with the cargo, the Junkers JU-52, and there we go. So it's a bunch of new planes. The rate is better. The frequency is better. We can move more people. So that's not bad. That's a good looking plane. That's a really good looking plane. I like it. Okay, I'm, I'm actually really excited about that. Uh, let me see. How's Bingham doing? Bingham's population's on the decline right now. That's concerning. Oh, wow. This place has no food. What the hell happened? Oh. 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 I've realized because there's less traffic, the food deliveries are more frequent interesting interesting so bingham food delivery has a rate of 132 okay hold on a minute so bingham food delivery's rate was 132 you're 290 and booze to food to delivery is 299 Ugh. and then we have a good amount of food going down here so hold on a second so consumers oh man <laughs> oh man there's a there's a lot going on there so production here right now is 600. So the 600 food is getting split between all of these guys. So arguably, if I could get a little bit more booze in here, we can just bring that food uh, production back up. And then looking up here, I mean, there's 900 sitting right there. That's, that's kind of wild. This guy is supplied by those guys right there. I mean, it's, it's doing okay we're shipping everything so i mean if we could get one more farm on this so we're shipping in 600 but it's going to be using it could use 800 to make 
400 alcohol. Does that make sense? So we could get another farm on this if I really wanted to. And just have a farm set up maybe down here with a rate of like 200. And that would help us out. And then we're only shipping. So suppliers, we're producing 300. We are shipping 300. We could bring that up. I think we could bring that up. Let me go and get a, um, let me go and get a little, little thing down here. Give me, it doesn't really need to be huge. Let's do sort of a smaller little thing here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it. I want to say right about there should be fine. And what we'll do is a new line. It's going to be from here in Norton, which is going to be the red line. And it's going to be going to here. And that should be just fine. So paint it a nice bright red. Uh, road cargo, Norton. And it's grain to booze uh, number three is what that's going to be. So what we need to do is get ourselves a handful of vehicles. I only want a couple because I want to just test this and we'll say, give me like five, go ahead and paint them sort of that color for grain. And so road cargo, Norton grain to booze number three. I need to go and take the little, the little sign off of that though, because it's really bothering me. So just rename that to three. So it's got a rate of 46. That's actually okay. Manage those vehicles, duplicate them and duplicate again. And that gives us a rate just shy of 200. Give me one more vehicle. That gives me 194. So that's fine. So that means we should be moving 200 grain from here up to here, which means this guy should get maxed out on its production, which means that we should be able to bring this guy up to a rate of just shy of 400. And with a bit less traffic, it means that the production here should go up to... Uh, yeah, that would work out. That should work out. So we're getting supplied with just shy of 300 there. Which means the production is just shy of 600 here. So yeah, if we can get produced, if we can produce more here, that'll be great. I'm, I'm, I'm waffling. I think that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Uh, let's go have a look at Rochester though, because we haven't been down here in a little bit. And I mean, looking at it, we have a little bit of coffee sitting here. Nothing major, which is kind of to be expected. A good amount of food coming down though. Definitely can't be bad to that. That's always good to see. Hopefully we can get a little bit more production going here. It's, uh, it's definitely a slow one. It is definitely, definitely a, uh, a bit of, <laughs> a bit of a slow one. Are we, how are we doing that again? It's been a little minute since I looked at this. So we have this guy. We have a lot of coffee sitting there, a lot of coffee berries. And we just need to move them to the airport. I probably should have set up separate lines to do that, but it's it's fine. I'm not super concerned about it. We'll figure things out. This will all this will all get smoothened, smoothened, smoothed, smoothed out. We'll figure it out. That's what I'm getting at. We'll figure it out. It's okay. Oh, now this is cool. The Whitworth Machines Factory is potentially going to get leveled up here again because it's producing a lot now. That's kind of neat. I'm, I'm kind of here for that. That's 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 actually really, really good that this thing is doing so well for itself. I'm really, really kind of pleased about that. Uh, I am curious, though. Can I go ahead and say put a station exit there? And then can I go ahead and try to bring a little little something something just a just a little just a little something something a little small one way street kind of off the back of this straight over the train tracks and if I was to connect this to say a little bit of road over here I don't know if this is actually going to do anything or be worth doing but I'm I'm curious to see if any of these vehicles will use this so if I do that they do oh okay I'm kind of here for that. I'm, I'm curious to see if that just helps out the traffic a little bit. It might just sort of pull some of the vehicles through and make life a little bit easier for them. So that's that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I do think this place probably needs a slightly bigger set of uh, terminal points as well, but I'm not super concerned about that right now. So we're not really going to worry too much about it. I think, honestly, I'm just pleased that we've got more machines being made. That's That's kind of where I'm at. I'm really quite happy about that one. In other news, this is kind of interesting. 
this is actually really interesting that all of the farms so they output 300 each i was assuming it was 600 uh if we look at this guy the suppliers these guys are shipping just shy of 300 each they've kind of gone down a little bit because this one's picking up some of the slack which is fine that's totally okay that's not ideal i don't i don't love that they're sort of balancing out that way but it's it's what they're doing uh that means this guy is potentially going to get a bit of an abundance of this stuff but that should be fine uh the production has gone up to 350 so what we can now go and do is bring this rate up kind of considerably as well so manage these vehicles give me one two three four five six seven of them duplicates that gives us 50 vehicles and a rate of 257 duplicate again gives us 57 vehicles a rate of 293 so now we're going to be moving more of that booze down to here which means we should be producing more food which means that if we have a shortage we should be okay and then in other other news we have 219 people wanting to go out of rochester airport up to bingham that's kind of wild that is a lot that is a lot of people that is a ridiculous amount of people wanting to uh travel by air right there i'm kind of there for it though it's pretty cool rochester is up to four or uh, 543 it's going down to 483 which isn't ideal but that's okay it's it's pretty cool that that thing is uh as popular as it is now we do have a slight issue there does happen to be a massive slag icon right there which i mean that just says to me yeah there's 740 slag waiting to move out there so what's production on you right now it's almost it's almost gonna be 400 each which is pretty cool so the consumers it's 374 right now so if i get the slag line up to like 350 that'll be fine it's 159 right now that's that's not ideal uh go ahead and duplicate that and that'll give us what 317 that's fine it's definitely more than we're moving right now so i'll take it looking up towards new mills we have a lot going on this guy's going to be producing a lot more here in just a second which is great suppliers are doing pretty well for themselves consumers are getting not enough which is interesting norton's not getting enough midhurst isn't getting enough I'm kind of thinking, given that there's a massive amount of bricks just waiting here, that what we should probably do is get another train. So let's manage those vehicles. Give me one more train here. We'll see what that does for us. And then in terms of consumers, that's hopefully going to help with transportation. And that's hopefully going to get things moving a little bit more. Now, despite my best efforts today, we actually have $250 million, despite the fact that I've bought hundreds of vehicles I've got a bunch of new stations. I just bought a new train. It's, I'm not going to say it's frustrating because again, it's like I said right at the start, it's weird to complain that I have $250 million and I can't seem to spend it fast enough. That's, you know, that's, that's sort of, that's goals. I think is what the, the, the kids say, right? Goals, fam. Uh, so it's, I'm way, I, 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 I hate the fact that I even ironically said the word fam. You have no idea how much I really disliked that the team on Doctor Who during the 13th Doctor's era, and I really like Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. I thought she was great. I just really didn't like that it was the TARDIS fam. And if you don't know anything about Doctor Who, then ignore that last two minutes. It just, it just fam. As it just no, just, just stop it. Just, just, just stop it. And that goes for Doctor Who, and that goes for me as well. Uh, also, slight issue, traffic here. Let me very quickly try and uh, try and sort this out. We'll give them just a, sort of a nice large country road right here so they can all sort of get around. And I'm pretty sure most of that traffic's probably going to much of the same place. So, uh, oh no, there is... Yeah, there is, there is some room for it to potentially do its thing. Actually, not really. I think I need more lanes. I think this one in particular might need some more lanes so now looking at it yeah there we go so now they're doing what i want them doing there's some more lanes being used which is ideal i do think we should maybe bring this down 
in size a little bit though I mean, we don't need sort of all of that space there and honestly we'll bring it down a little bit further here so it'll go up to you know what we'll just do that we'll just have it go from two to six that's fine this game needs asymmetrical roads is what i'm realizing uh we also wait what's going on there do i need i don't think i need all that many lanes on this side so that kind of works out they are going to sort of split off there which would be nice if they split off earlier but it's it's whatever uh looking at this i think that can be kind of a single little road as well and honestly this one as well it's kind of just this guy that needs the the multiple lanes there so that kind of works out maybe we'll just sort of extend this back a little bit further and see if that uh nope that merge is going to be right up at the end there very how very city skylines of you transport fever how very how very very city skylines of you good lord i wasn't expecting all that traffic to back up here but it's it's whatever it's a lot of vehicles we knew this was going to happen it's not the end of the world this thing is producing fantastically it's way more efficient than what was going on down here uh whitworth is up to almost 2,000 people to be fair emissions are still pretty terrible but that's i mean i'm not going to say that's fine it's not but it's it is what it is i'm, I'm kind of here for it uh this guy over here let's have a look at suppliers so this really could do with more we're shipping 329 that's only 72 percent of of what we could be moving and then shipments to rochester and midhurst are kind of lacking a little bit that's fine i guess what we'll do so this guy's now producing that much you guys are kind of tailing back a little bit yeah i mean we could we could probably bring that rate up a little bit further let me go and grab three of you give me 60 vehicles that gives us 272 that should be fine and we'll just see how it goes we'll just see what happens i again it's it's difficult to complain when you're sitting on 269 million dollars you know i think i've just invented the first roundabout and it's sort of working annoyingly none of the traffic's using the inside lane but at the very least it's kind of working i've also got some traffic lights there that i don't want so it, it's filtering traffic that's that's what i wanted it to do everything else around here is doing okay we've got winslow growing a little bit which is fantastic we do need to do some things with this probably and make it a little bit better but that's totally fine by me we've got a little bit of traffic down here that i don't love but we'll figure that out whitworth is losing people i don't love that but we'll figure it out at the very least we do have more machines in here we have a good number of tools we're getting some food in here and speaking of food we are hopefully going to be seeing the food production here go up a little bit transports at 86 percent on this one 312 on shipping so it would be nice to get a little bit more going it would be nice to get a little bit of these uh these coffee berries down to rochester as well but we're doing very slowly with the uh with all of this honestly man honestly i think i might just put more planes on this we've got what nine let's go up to 15 let's go for 15 cargo planes and see what that does for us it's probably going to be a lot it's it's probably going to be a bit much it's probably not a good idea but we'll give it a shot we'll see what happens we'll see how it goes and we'll hope for the best is what we'll do also just very quickly road vehicles manage we have 12 vehicles on this bingham loop one can i replace those with something new not really this loop is very busy though so let's go up to bingham loop one let me deselect all the vehicles give me three more so we're up to 15 there and loop two give me three more as well so we're up to 10 and i also you might have noticed i did unlock some new trucks so i'm kind of thinking in the next episode we're gonna have to sit down and we're gonna have to go and upgrade everything to the opal blitz trucks they are faster by 12 miles per hour they can carry six more things while well, this one can carry four more but the tank trucks oh they can do some good things the dump trucks they can do some good things too so we could be moving a lot more with way fewer vehicles and that's going to help with the emissions and that's going to help with traffic as well so that's absolutely something we need to do but for now i'm going to go ahead and leave it there so thank you so much for watching everybody it's been an absolute pleasure as always and as always I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.